The movie begins with Itchy and Scratchy landing on the moon, and Scratchy says the moon landing represents peace between cats and rats. Itchy proceeds to stab Scratchy several times and leaves him to die as he returns to Earth. The rats praise him as he returns, and he becomes their president. He then sits in his office as he eats cheese and sees that Scratchy is still alive. Itchy launches several missiles at Scratchy, which explode, and Homer Simpson stand and break the fourth barrier as he says everyone watching the movie is stupid. The band Green Day performs for the people of Springfield, and they try to talk about the environment, but get booed. Their floating platform begins to melt, and they fall into the toxic Springfield Lake. Townspeople gather at the church the following day, and the Simpsons arrive late. The people hear as Homer complains about the church, and they enter inside. Reverend Timothy decides to select someone to preach, but everyone dodges. And God's light shines on Grandpa, who is asleep. He begins acting insane as he becomes possessed and says danger is going to happen. Continually repeating, Epa! Epa! He then gets rolled out of the church in a rug, and the Simpsons return home. Homer returns home and begins doing several chores, but does them poorly. Homer hits himself with a hammer, and Bart begins laughing at him. He begins to strangle Bart in anger, but lets go as Bart suggests that they can play a game of dares. Since they are on the roof, they begin playing recklessly, and Homer falls through the roof as Bart continues laughing. Meanwhile, Lisa moves around and tries to get people's signatures to save the environment, but no one pays attention to her. She meets an Irish boy named Colin, who is also interested in the environment, and she falls for him as she thinks he is perfect. Marge watches a video of Grandpa being crazy and tries to decipher what he is talking about. Bart shoots at Homer with a toy gun, and Homer dares him to skate to Krusty Burger naked, and Bart doesn't hesitate to do it. Several people see him as he skates, and the police begin to pursue him. They then shoot off his tire, and he lands on Krusty Burger's window. An officer scrapes Bart off, and they handcuff him to a pole as they enter for their lunch break. The sun begins to set, and Homer arrives at Krusty Burger. He then blames Bart for his actions, and the officers uncuff him. Bart enters the restaurant, and Flander ends up giving him some spare pants to wear because he is only in a t-shirt. He sits in front of Homer and prepares to complain, but gets interrupted as Krusty makes a commercial. Krusty then orders the pig in the commercial to be killed and Homer begins imagining a life with the pig. Marge continues trying to figure out what's going on, and Homer steps into the house with a pig. Marge is shocked as she sees the pig's twisted tail and realizes Grandpa mentioned a twisted tail. Homer takes the pig to Bart's room and begins to take care of it, and Bart sits on a tree. He watches how Flanders takes care of his children, and prepares to shoot Homer with a slingshot, but Flanders stops him. He offers to take Bart fishing and leaves a cup of hot chocolate on the window. Bart drinks the chocolate and realizes he likes it. Meanwhile, Lisa tells Marge about Colin as Marge cleans, and Marge is happy that someone listens to Lisa. Landers takes Bart fishing, and Bart messes up by losing his favorite fishing rod. Bart prepares to get strangled, but Flanders pats his back, and it makes Bart happy. Lisa stares at the lake and is sad at how they contaminated it. She holds a meeting with the townspeople and tries to convince them to save the lake, but they get distracted. She then says she put lake water in their cups, and the mayor realizes it's serious. He calls a code black, and the people begin to clean the lake and stop polluting. Homer talks to the pig, and Marge asks what he does with his feces. He takes her outside and shows her a DIY silo. She then suggests he disposes of it, and Homer agrees. Homer is on his way to the waste disposal site, but gets a call that free donuts are being given away. He decides to dump the feces in the lake and drives away, but this causes the lake to become toxic yet again. A squirrel falls into the lake and emerges as a mutant. Flanders takes Bart to a hill and shows him several locations, and Bart is amused. They are shocked as they see the mutated animal and a member of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, takes it away. Russ Cargill, the leader of EPA, takes the mutant to President Schwarzenegger and says the Lake Springfield's toxicity is extreme. He gives the president several options, and the president picks the third. Several helicopters fly over Springfield with a giant helicopter and drop it on the town. 
Trapping all its inhabitants inside, Cargill emerges on a giant screen and says they are sealed in the dome to prevent their toxicity from spreading to the rest of the world. He then says they found a way to remove them from the map, and Marge panics as she realizes being trapped is part of the things Grandpa said. Later, Marge realizes that Maggie is outside the dome and tries to tell Homer, but they return and see Maggie inside. They return to the house and Maggie moves in and out of the dome through a sinkhole. Homer and Marge watch the news that night, and the townspeople realize that Homer dumped the waste in the lake. They become enraged and march to his house with torches to kill him. The Simpsons enter a room as the townspeople try to break through the door, but Flanders tries to help. The pig pushes the wooden board off, and the family falls to the ground. They rush to the car, but Marge runs back into the building and retrieves her wedding video. They try to escape, but the people carry their car and take them to some ropes to be hanged. The Simpsons climbed into a tree, but Homer gets stuck on the rope, and the townspeople poke him with pitchforks. Maggie points at the sinkhole, but they don't understand what she means. So she jumps through it. The rest of the family follows her through the sinkhole, and Colin emerges as he tries to sing to Lisa. The EPA emerges as the family runs away, and Cargill instructs his intern to find the family and intensify the security around the dome. His intern says he's mad with power, and Cargill says no one will obey his orders if he doesn't go mad with power. The Simpsons hide in a motel, and Marge thinks she has been caught, but the officers walk away and begin kissing. Marge enters the room and sees Bart drinking. She tries to stop him, but he runs around the room and says he misses Flanders as he passes out. Homer enters the house, and everyone is annoyed at him for dumping the silo in the lake. He apologizes, as he says he doesn't think before he does things, and pulls out a poster of Alaska as he says he has a plan. He says he wants to start a new life with them in Alaska, and convinces Marge to follow him. Bart asks how they will get to Alaska without any money, and Homer says America is a land where they can get money easily. They go to a carnival the following day, and Homer plays a game with the last money they have. He tries to ride a motorcycle around a dome, and Lisa tells him to ride as fast as he can. Homer wins the game, and takes the game owner's car as his payment. The family arrives at a gas station, and Marge tries purchasing some items, but sees a wanted sign with the family on it. Bart scribbles on the picture, and a different family gets arrested as they escape. Meanwhile, Apu, Hibbert, and Wiggum go to Mr. Burns' office and ask him for electricity. Apu asks Burns to look into his heart, but Burns becomes angry and sicks his dogs on them. The Simpsons arrive at Alaska, but Homer is shocked by the view that isn't similar to what is on the poster. They almost have an accident as Homer gets distracted by staring at the poster. They land on the road with a beautiful view. The toll booth attendant gives them money for moving to Alaska, and they move into a new house. Bart claps several times, causing an avalanche that traps Homer and Marge in the house with snow. Homer says his dreams can come true, and some animals enter and help them take off their clothes. Meanwhile, the people in Springfield begin to go crazy as they run out of resources, and they rush to the dome. They try to destroy it, and an elephant is able to crack the glass. Cargill shows the president the video and gives him several options to pick to solve the problem. The president decides to read the options, but Cargill convinces him to which is to destroy Springfield. The Simpsons watch television that night and see that the government wants to destroy Springfield. Marge and the others decide to save Springfield, but Homer refuses and says he loves his life in Alaska. He storms out of the house and goes to play games at an arcade. Homer returns home after playing the game, but sees that no one is there. He plays a video, and Marge informs him that she and the kids have left to try and save Springfield. Homer gets heartbroken as he runs out of the house. He then passes out on an iceberg, and a polar bear tries to attack him. But a strange figure pursues it. Marge and the kids sit in a bus and try to lie low, but the government listens into their conversations. Homer wakes up in a strange woman's hut, and she says Homer will perform a throat-singing ritual until he has an epiphany. 
Homer begins to fantasize and eventually realizes that he can save himself by saving Springfield. He wakes up and runs out as he decides to save his town and family. Meanwhile, Marge and the others arrive at a town but get apprehended by Cargill and his men. Homer embarks on a journey to find his family but tries to give up and the woman tells him not to as she gives him directions. He arrives at a field outside Springfield and realizes that Lisa and the others are in a van. Homer makes the guards stop using a fake stop sign and tries to use a wrecking ball on them, but misses and gets slammed into several objects. Marge and the others get knocked out and they wake up in the town. They see that it has become a wasteland and Mo says he is the ruler of the town. Cargill appears on the screen and says they have decided to destroy the town. He lowers a bomb inside and everyone runs in fear. Homer distracts a guard, knocks him out and decides to climb into the dome. Some townspeople climb the rope to escape, but Homer enters and knocks them back in as he moves on the ropes. Bart gets angry at Homer for ruining the escape plan, and Homer kicks the bomb, causing the time to reduce. Bart walks to church and sees Flander and his kids inside. He asks Flanders if he can pretend to be his dad one last time, and Flanders hugs him. The bomb-diffusing robot goes to the bomb but panics and shoots itself. Homer walks around as he is sad and tries to rush to Marge, but bumps into a tree that's similar to the one from his vision. He then sees a bike and remembers how he rode around in a sphere. Homer rides the bike to Bart and says he'd like to spend his last moments with him. Bart initially does not agree, until Homer shows him that he has the bomb, and Bart then finally agrees, as they carry the bomb on the motorcycle, and Homer begins to move onto the side of the dome. They move up and throw the bomb out of the hole as it explodes, causing the dome to shatter as the duo rides down. They ride on several surfaces but safely land and the townspeople celebrate. Homer talks to Bart and Cargill, prepares to shoot them with a gun. Maggie then drops a rock on his head, knocking him out. Lisa walks around the town in search of Colin and she finally reunites with him. They hold hands as they walk on the street and go to buy ice cream. Homer and Bart go to the townspeople and Homer carries Marge as he kisses her and rides away. Later, the townspeople help Homer rebuild his house and Homer accidentally hammers a nail into his leg. He runs around as he screams in pain and Bart laughs at him. The End Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos and please make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time!